Well, I think that this Justice Summit is a great idea. I think it's an excellent opportunity to take advantage of uh, the unfortunate circumstances of our budget, but the fortunate aspect of having the business communities and the Collins Center come together to address an issue that's critical to the people of the state of Florida. The issues being discussed is the need for continued incarceration and prison construction and trying to address it in a holistic fashion. And the reason it's important is because we can't continue to have prison construction burst in the budgets of our state. We've got to come up with additional solutions and alternative solutions in how we are smart with the criminal justice element of our state. And I think that that's what we're doing. The fact that the business community is involved is the key to make this happen. The business community has the ability to push the leadership in the legislature to say we're tired of footing the bill. The business community are the ones who have been footing the bill and the resources have been directed in a fashion that's not been sensible. So what they're saying is, okay, we're going to continue to foot the bill, but we want you to look at strategically how you're dealing with the criminal justice element. If you don't have the attention of the leadership, which the business community has, it sort of falls on deaf ears. We spend between twenty and thirty thousand dollars a year to house inmates, some of whom should never be sent to state prison in the first place. They should be either uh, worked out some type of program back in their home counties or in the county jails where they come from. But clearly, the county has an incentive to send them to the state, but when they're sent to the state, now everybody pays for them. Some of these individuals don't even score high enough points to be sent to the state prison system. But if you build these prisons and it costs an enormous amount of money, clearly there's incentive for the county and, and, and unfortunately there's incentive for some members of the state to accept them. Well, the people I represent, they clearly don't want to pay the type of money that we pay to incarcerate nonviolent offenders. They would pay whatever it takes to incarcerate individuals who are violent. And but by not by 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 adjusting our mindset, we will be able to house those individuals who need to be removed from a society for as long as it takes. But those individuals who we can f find a more practical means of dealing with them and being smart on crime, not necessarily bragging that we're tough on crime, they don't want to continue to pay for that. And in fact, they much rather those funds go towards the needy in the community and towards educating our citizens. More important is the, the uh, consolidation of the efforts by the stakeholders who are here, in particular the business, the Collins Center, who are, are able to draw in experts to address these issues. And if you uh, and some of them are common sense issues, but uh, it just has fell on deaf ears. But now I think that everything is aligned, whether it's aligning because of financial reasons or because of doing the right thing. It, it really doesn't matter as long as we do that, which is right for the people of the state of Florida. Well, it, it's opened my eyes to the fact that the timing is right. It's opened my eyes to the fact that for whatever reason, the players that need to make things happen are at the table. And if they're at the table, then we have to move now. You have to strike while the iron is hot. And, and I think that what I saw from this uh, uh, summit is a discussion with the business leaders, with the Collins Center, to say, well, what movement is there with leadership? Is there anything to indicate that leadership is actually listening and they're ready to go forward with maybe even just three or four solid items that can help start this process to go on? That's what I think most people are looking for, something solid to say that everybody is at the table and they get it. As I listen to the presenters and I listen to the individuals in the audience, they're on board and they get it. I think that they, it may have to be couched from a financial standpoint to the leadership such that they get it. And as I say, it doesn't matter the motivation as long as we're doing the right thing.